Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Reaper Experience. My name is Percy Jules and this video is about default project settings. A little while ago I posted a video on how to use templates in Reaper. Now I'm gonna leave a link in the description and also on screen for those of you that missed that one. So just click on the link and you'll see my, you'll see my video on working with templates. Now, in my opinion, working with templates applies to a situation where you want to recreate particular settings to start a new project. So for instance, if you want to use particular instruments or a particular group of tracks set up in a certain way or something like that, that's when you use templates. But if you want to start a project from scratch, what you do is you just open a new project. So like this, you go to File and click New Project. So, this is a completely blank project, right? Well, not really. Because of course, what Cocos, the makers of Reaper, had to do to create this default project is they had to make some choices. So for instance, if we take a look at the metronome settings, you can see that the metronome is not enabled. There is no count in before playback. There is no count in before recording. Count in measures is set to 2, uh, the metronome volume is set to minus 12 dB. You know, these are choices made by Cocos. And even though I think they did a pretty good job at creating a fairly standard default project, these choices they've made might not be your choices. So it would be really nice if there was an option to somehow change the default settings. And guess what? There is. Of course there is and it's very very easy now personally when I want to record something whenever I press the record button button I want to hear the metronome go so let me just select the count in before recording count in measures it's set to two for me that's a bit too much I prefer it to be set to just one measure so one now down here we have the master track. What's really typical of Reaper is that this is set to the far left of the mixer. In most other DAWs this will be set to the right. So as I'm used to seeing this on the right, I prefer it to be on that side. Now what's also very typical of Reaper is that this can be adjusted. So if we right click here in the mixer area and go to master track, you will see an option um, show on right side of mixer. So if you click that you will see the master track will jump to the right. Now to me these look more like the default settings I prefer. Of course it's very likely that your settings will be different from mine but for the purpose of this tutorial let's say that this is how we want to start a new project. Now what we have to do is to save this project. Now you could save it as you would save any normal project so just go to file save project, name it whatever you want, and click save. But I'm going to do something a little different. I am going to go to file, but then I'm going to go to project templates and save project as template. I will name this example default and save. So what we have to do now to make this template into the default project is to go to Preferences, then go to Project, and over here we can see the option when creating new projects use the following project file as a template. Now that almost speaks for itself. What we need to do now is to just click Browse and we have to find the template we've just created. Here is my example default, so just select that one and click open and then click apply. Okay. So now whenever I want to start a new project from scratch, I just go to file and click new project. And voila! Now the reason why I saved my default project as a template is because well, first of all, I think it's just a good place to store. 
to store it amongst templates just somehow seems uh, logical to me. And also, obviously, I can now load these settings also as a template. Now you could argue that this option, saving a project as the default project, is kind of superfluous when you can also start from a template. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think I can really argue with that. I guess it all comes down to uh, what methods you choose to work with. For me personally, this option is very helpful for the way I'm used to working. But again, it's all up to you. Anyway, now at least you know the option is there and you know how to use it. You never know, you might run into a situation someday where this could come in handy. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.